For spelling list two, we're going to need four new phonograms, so let's learn those together. The first one is k, two letter k. The second one is e, e double e always says e. The third one is th, th. And the fourth one is ng. All right, let's learn a little bit more about this phonogram, k, two letter k. We'll do so by uh, showing a few example words. The first word I want to show you is the word deck. D, e, k. Now, notice the two letter k is used after a single short vowel in deck. Let's look at a few more words. We have the word neck, n, e, k. Once again, it's a single short vowel. And back, b, a, k. So two letter k is used only after a single short vowel. You can learn more about this in the Logic of English Essentials curriculum, lesson two, part one. I also want to show you one other tip. When you have a word like uh, creek, where you have an e double e, you cannot use a two letter k here because First of all, it's saying it's long sound, and secondly, uh, it's a two-letter vowel. So two-letter k is used only after a single short vowel, and we'll be using this a number of times in spelling list number two. Spelling list number two. In spelling list number two, we will learn 25 words that can be used along with lesson two of the Logic of English Essentials program. The first word is rabbit. The rabbit hopped across the yard. How many syllables in rab bit? Two. Let's sound it out together. The first syllable is rab. R, a, b. The second syllable is bit. B, it. Go ahead and write rab bit. Be sure to sound it out as you write it. Very good. Now help me to write it. Make sure you're sounding it out with me. R, a, b. B, it rabbit. The next word is seedling. We planted a seedling, seedling on the boulevard. How many syllables in seedling? Two. The first syllable is seed. Let's sound it out together. S e. This will be an e double e. D. Second syllable ling. L e ng. Go ahead and write seedling. Once again, be sure to sound it out as you write it. And now help me to write it by sounding it out with me. S e d ling o e n. Do we have any multi-letter phonograms in seedling? Yes, we can underline the e double e and the n. This will help us to know that these letters are working together to say the sound e and to say the sound ng. The third word is backpack. Put your notebook in your backpack. How many syllables in back, pack? Two. The first syllable is back. B, a, k. Now you'll need a two letter k. The second syllable is pack. P, a, k. Once again, use the two letter k in pack. Go ahead and write back, pack. And now help me to write it. B, A, K, P, A, K. And what letters do we have working together here? We have the K and the K. And we could use a two letter K in back because it's before a single short vowel. And we could use the two letter K in pack because it's before a single short vowel. Notice backpack is also a compound word. A pack means a bag, and it's a bag that goes on your back. The fourth word is weekend. This weekend, we will go to the movie. How many syllables in week end? That's right, two. The first syllable is week. W, E, E double E, K. This will be a tall K or a K. The second syllable is end. E, N, D. Go ahead and write week end. And now help me to write it. W, 
i k a n d. Now, we'll underline the E double E because the E's work together to say the long E sound. Now, why could we not use a two letter K in weekend? That's right, it's a long vowel sound and it's two vowels. It's not a single short vowel. Also notice weekend is a compound word and it means the end of the week. Number five is mittens. These mittens are warm. How many syllables in mit tens? Two. The first syllable is mit, m i t. The second syllable is tens, t e n s. Go ahead and write mit tens. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is mit, m i t. The second syllable is tens, t e n s. All right. The sixth word is skunk. The skunk smells. Let's sound it out together. Skunk. S k. This will be a tall k or a k. A n k. Once again, a tall k or a k. Go ahead and write skunk. And now help me to write it. S k. A n. Now, once again, we couldn't use a two letter k in skunk because the k is not before a single short vowel. It's before a n sound. So we had to use uh, the tall k in this case. The next word is queen. She will be the queen in the play. Queen. Let's sound out queen together. Qu e. This is an e double e. N. Go ahead and write queen. And now help me to write it. Be sure to sound it out. Qu e n. And how will we mark queen? Well, underline the e double e and the qu. So we have two phonograms, two multi-letter phonograms here, qu and e double e. The next word is creek. The creek flooded after the heavy rain. Creek. Let's sound it out together. K. This will be a k. Er, e. This will be an e double e. K. This will be a tall k. Go ahead and write creek. And now help me to write it. K. Er, e, k. Now we can underline the e double e. Why did we not use a two letter k at the end of creek? Uh, that's right, because it's before a double vowel here, or a vowel that has two letters, and it's saying it's long sound. So we use the talk softest. This is the softest blanket. Softest. How many syllables in soft est? Two. The first syllable is soft. S a f t. The second syllable is est. E s t. Go ahead and write soft. And now help me to write it. S a f t. Second syllable is est. E s t. Softest. The next word is velvet. She wore a purple velvet dress. How many syllables in velvet? Two. The first syllable is vel, v e l. The second syllable is vet, v e t. Go ahead and write vel vet. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is vel, v e o. The second syllable is vet, v e t. Velvet. The next word is grand. We have a grand piano. Grand. One syllable. Let's sound it out together. G, r, a, n, d. Grand. Go ahead and write it. And now help me to write it. G, r, a, n, d. 
grant. The next word is sweetness. The cookies are just the right sweetness. How many syllables in sweetness? Two. The first syllable is sweet. S w e e w e t. The second syllable is ness. N e s s. Go ahead and write sweetness. And help me to write it. The first syllable is sweet. S w e t. The second syllable is ness. N e s s. Do we have any phonograms working together to say one sound? Yes, we have the e double e saying its long sound e. The next word is steep. Our driveway is quite steep. Steep. One syllable. Let's sound it out together. S t e. This is an e double e. P. Go ahead and write steep. Help me to write it. S t e. P. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the e double e. Number fourteen is quick. We need to make a quick stop at the store. Quick. Qu e k. Once again, you'll use the two letter k. Go ahead and write quick. And now help me to write it. Qu e k. And how will we mark quick? We'll underline the k and the k. Now, why could we use two letter k in quick? Well, u is q always needs a u, so u is not a vowel here. So we have a single short vowel i, and therefore we can use the two letter k in quick. The next word is sleek. The horse was sleek after all the grooming. Sleek. Let's sound it out together. S o e e double e k. Once again, you'll use the tall k. Very good. Go ahead and sound it out. And help me to write it. S o e k. And how will we mark it? That's right. We'll underline the e double e. All right. The next word is seventeenth. Abby finished seventeenth in the race. How many syllables in sev n teenth? Three. Very good. The first syllable is sev. S a -e Mm. The second syllable is n, e, n. The third syllable is teenth, t, e, e double e, n, f. Go ahead and write sev n teenth. Once again, be sure to sound it out as you write it. And now help me to write seventeenth. S e. V, e, n, t, e, n, f. All right. And how will we mark seventeenth? We'll underline the e double e and the f. The next word is sixteenth. That is the sixteenth question. Sixteenth. How many syllables in sixteenth? Two. The first syllable is six. S. E x. The second syllable is teenth. T e e double e n f. Go ahead and write sixteenth. And now help me to write it. S e x. T e n f. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e double e. And the th. The next word is pumpkin. Did you carve a pumpkin on Halloween? How many syllables in pumpkin? Two. The first syllable is pump. P a m p. The second syllable is kin. K. This will be a tall k. I n. Go ahead and write pumpkin. And now help me, help me to write it. The first syllable is pump, p, 
a, m, p. The second syllable is kin. K, i, n. Now, I want you to notice we used a tall k here, and there's a rule we haven't learned yet, but c softens to s before an e, i, or y. So this, if we used a c here, it would say pump sin. And we can't use a two-letter k here because it's not before a single short vowel. So our only option is to use the k in pumpkin. The next word is unsuspecting. The unsuspecting boy jumped when we shouted surprise. How many syllables in un-sus-pect-ing? Un-sus-pect-ing. Four. The first syllable is un, a, uh, n. The second syllable is sus, s, a, uh, s. The third syllable is pect, p, e, k. This will be a k, s, t. The fourth syllable is ing, i, n. Very good. Now, why don't you write un-sus-pect-ing? This will be very important to sound it out to make sure you get all of the sounds written down. All right, go ahead and help me to write it. The first syllable is un. A, uh, n. The second syllable is sus. S, a, uh, s. The third syllable is pect. P, e, and the fourth syllable is ing. E, ng. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the ng. So what is the root of unsuspecting? You're right, it's suspect. And to suspect something means to think it's true. Or you could have a suspect in a crime, someone that they think performed or did the crime. And then un means not. So unsuspecting means not um, suspecting. They weren't expecting it. All right, let's do the word unbending. The teacher is unbending about the rules. How many syllables in unbending? Three. The first syllable is un, a, uh, n. The second syllable is bend, b, e, n, d. And the third syllable is ing, i, n. Go ahead and write unbending. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is un, a, uh, n. The second syllable is bend, b, e, n, d. And the third syllable is ing, e, n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the ng. Now, what do you notice is the root about unbend, or what is the root in unbending? It's bend, which means to, you know, to bend or to shape something. And if it's unbending, it's not bending. You can't bend it into a different shape or you can't change it. All right. The 21st word is symptom. That is a common symptom of the flu. Symptom. How many syllables in simp, tom? Two. The first syllable is simp. S. This is a s, z, i. This is a y, i, i, e. M, p. The second syllable is tom. T, a, m. Go ahead and write simp, tom. All right, help me to write symptom. The first syllable is simp. I, m, p. The second syllable is tom. T, a, m. Now notice what the vowel is in the first syllable, simp. The y is saying the i sound, and it's acting as a vowel. The next word is nonprofit. They work for a nonprofit foundation. How many syllables in nonprofit? Three. The first syllable is non. N, a, n. The second syllable is prof. P, er, a, f. And the third syllable is it. I, t. Go ahead and write non, prof, it. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is non. N, a, n. The second syllable is prof. Er, ah, f. And the third syllable is it. I, t. Now, 
What is the root word of nonprofit? That's right, it's profit, and this is money that is made by a company. But a nonprofit is one that doesn't profit from the work that they do.、Uh, they do it more for charity. So nonprofit、uh, is the word, and then non means not. Very good. The next word is myth. Today we will read a Greek myth. Let's sound out myth together. M i. This is a y a i i e. Go ahead and write myth. And now help me to write it. M i t. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the. Now notice the y is saying the i sound in the word myth. It is saying the vowel sound i. The sounds of y are y a i i e, and so here it's saying the i sound. In the word number twenty four, volunteer. Our class will volunteer at the food shelf next month. How many syllables in vol un tier? Three. The first syllable is vol. V a u. The second syllable is un, a n, and the third syllable is tier, t e. This is an e double e, er. Go ahead and write vol un tier. Very good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is vol, v a o. The second syllable is un, a n, and the third syllable is tier. E er, and how will we mark volunteer? We'll underline the e double e. The last word will be puppeteer. A puppeteer will put on a puppet show at our school. How many syllables in pup, pet, ear? Three. Let's sound it out together. The first syllable is pup, p a p. The second syllable is pet, p e t, and the third syllable is ear. E double e er. Go ahead and help me to write it. The first syllable is pup, p a p. The second syllable is pet, p e t, and the third syllable is ear, e er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e. Now, what do you notice about volunteer and puppeteer? They both end in ear, and these are suffixes that can be used to denote a person who does something. And what is the root of puppeteer? That's right, it's puppet. And a puppeteer is someone who works with puppets. Some of you may have a question. So, why do volunteer and puppeteer have different syllable breaks? Is this just again、uh, another example of how crazy English is? Well, actually, it's not. It follows the rule that we'll learn in the next lesson, which is a e o u. Usually, say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. So, in order for a vowel to be saying its long sound, it needs to be at the end of the syllable. When a vowel is saying its short sound, there's a consonant closing that syllable. So, in the word volunteer, you can hear the un very clearly. The u is saying its short sound, and so the un is closing that. And then we usually break syllables between two consonants. That's very common in English. In puppeteer, you'll notice we clearly hear a short e sound in puppet. And therefore, the syllable or the t is needed to close that syllable, and the syllable will break after the t, and the ear will be、um, in the、uh, in the third syllable here. So there are reasons for why syllables break in particular places that、uh, follow logical rules and patterns, and it's part of just also the rhythm of our language. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for spelling list two of Logic of English Essentials, the expanded list.